Hey guys, so if you haven't deja vu, yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Same, same, same face, same makeup, of course. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this eye look using the Juvia's Place Tribe palette, okay? I ordered the palette whenever it was released or whenever it was launched and I actually got it like yesterday? I got it two days ago. Um, and that's the it, 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 it took a while for me to get the pack so let's go ahead and get this eye look out of the way and at the end of the video i will tell you my final thoughts and impressions about the palette okay so if you want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching okay guys so let's go ahead and jump right into it i am gonna moisturize my lips with the dhc lip cream it is very very moisturizing prime my eyelids with the NYX eyeshadow primer and I'm going to blend it out on my eyelids with my finger. I don't know, I always just like doing it this way. So I go in with the P. Lewis Rumor Zero eyeshadow base and I blend that in with a random brush. I don't even remember what brush that is. After I blended it in, I go in with a second coat and blend that in so it's nice and smooth and then I started applying my eyeshadow. I am using the Juno & Co ES07 brush and I took the shade Tootsie and I'm doing like a tap and flick motion that way it would blow out the shadow even before it's time for me to blend it. So I laid, I laid the shadow down in the shape of a cat eye and then when, once I felt like I had enough powder on my eyelids I went ahead and blended it out. So after I blended out the powder, I took my BH Cosmetics brush number three. This is this is the brush that comes in the Smoky Eye brush set. It's like ten dollars, and I took the shade Mas Masai Masai, and I used that to blend the outside of the shape that I laid it down. So I made sure I blended out all around the shape, and then I went back in with my ES07 brush and I blended everything together some more. So after that was done, I'm just measuring to see where I'm going to place my darker crease shade and I took the Evita Joseph G220 brush and I used that to lay down the shade Sun, S-A-N, and that color is so intense. And just look how pretty the matte shades just blend together. So I used G220 and blended that out and then I went in with my Juno & Co ES07 brush. I blended everything together and then I went back in with my 220 and some sun and I made sure that the little line you see over there was beautifully blended out and that it would transition better from a lighter shade to a darker shade. So after that was done, I went back in with my P. Lewis Base Rumor Zero and a random concealer brush and I cut my crease in the shape of a cat eye. Like, I just wanted to make sure that the, the cut crease was not like a messy cut crease. So I made sure I had the lines really, really fine. Like really, you know, the lines were really, really detailed and the tail of it was like a sharp, sharp, sharp wing cut, you know? Okay, so just make sure that you take your time and cut your crease. Also, don't be like me and just make sure that you're matching your eye to the other because I always lift up my left brow and it makes me just mess up every time I cut my crease. So don't be like me, don't lift your eyebrow and make sure you get like a really even cut on both eyes. If not, you're just gonna have to go back in and fix it. So after I cut my crease, I went in with the BH Cosmetics brush number 106 and I used that to intensify that sun shade around my cut crease so it, I get like a really, really, really uh, good contrast. So, I, so, so that I get a really good contrast and after I did that, I go in, I went in with my e.l.f. Cosmetics Glitter Glue. This glitter glue is so old, you guys. And then I took the BH Cosmetics brush number 107 and I used that to apply the glue on the lower part of where my eye naturally folds. So after I apply the glitter glue, I use the same brush 
I used the brush number 106 and I applied the shade Kuba over the glitter glue so that it can stick to it. Now Kuba is a green glitter shade. For some odd reason, I felt like it wasn't shining enough for me. So I took the shade Koro and I put Koro over Kuba. That way it can shine a little bit more. And after I blended everything in, I went back over it with some Kuba so it could be more green than white looking. And with folded eye problems, I transferred onto the upper parts. And then I'm applying some glitter glue on top and just making sure I get the lines really, really nicely. After I applied the glitter glue, I went over the glitter glue with the shade Chaga. And I used the same brush that I used to apply the glitter glue. I just wiped it off and applied the shade Chaga over the glitter glue and just make sure you get your lines really really precise and you don't want to mess it up you know at least on the side and the top part so after i apply the shade chaga i go in and blend the two shades together so that it has more of a transition than you know two separate shades put over there of course when you blink or when you're looking down people are going to see the transition shade but when you're looking straight it looks like you have like like you intentionally did a harsh line between the two shades I call this eye look a peekaboo eye look and I think it's perfect for people with extremely folded hooded eyes you know it just gives you a different way to showcase your eyeshadow okay so yeah you're gonna see a lot of peekaboo on my channel so after I applied my eyeshadow I went in with the NYX black matte liquid matte eyeliner and i lined my eyes however you don't have to line your eyes you can actually just leave it like that and apply your lashes i think it would be a better look that way so i didn't get footage of me applying the shade the shade sun on my lower eyelid but i did apply sun on my lower eyelids with the charity e25 brush after i applied Sun, I took the shade Tutsi and I used the BH Cosmetics 105 brush and I used that to blend out the you know the green that I laid on the lower lid. Then I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and I apply that on my lashes. So after I did everything, I went over my liner again because who did I problems? My liner got shimmer all over it you know so you guys i'm using these lashes that i got in i am testing them out and very soon they're just gonna have some lashes but look how pretty they are they're so gorgeous so i went ahead and applied my lashes i'm really loving this lash i think i would use it in a natural look so you can see it more you know but it's so pretty it's so fluffy it's just gorgeous so so then i took some of my elf glitter glue and i used the brush the bh cosmetics 105 brush and i apply that glitter glue in my inner corner now after i did that i took the shade coro and i applied coro all over it and you guys coro is like a whitish it's like a holographic green um shade and it is so pretty and i applied that all over it and that was that was it you guys that was it like oh it's so sickening i just love it Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I don't hate the palette. The only shade I don't like in the palette is that dark green that's supposed to be like a shimmer shade. It doesn't shimmer enough for me. I feel like it could have it could have had more of a um more of a shimmer shade, like more more shimmers in it, like more glitter in it. So that it can shine more so i ended up having to put a different uh, shade on top of it to make it shine more also the palette has a really weird smell it smells kind of like um like glue or something so i don't know if i i smell the shadow itself and it doesn't smell like that but yeah the only problem i have with the palette is that i wish that the dark green shade was more shimmery it's it's not as shimmery as i thought it would be and it's 
it, 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 it doesn't apply as smoothly and I feel like it has a weird texture to it. So yeah, that's the only thing. The mats though, the mats blended so beautifully together. Let me know down below in the comments how you guys like this look. Let me know down below if you are gonna if you are gonna pick up the palette. Let me know down below. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about every what you think about the look. Don't forget to check out my previous videos and I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!